Good morning from Springfield, Missouri. Last year when I was staying here at the University Plaza, they had nice breakfast here, buffet style, where you can get all kinds of food, but this year, no such luck. Here at the University Plaza in Springfield, Missouri. It's a really nice day here, so I'm gonna take a walk, see how things are going. Considering it's December 28th, all the leaves are gone. Not too bad weather though, about 50 degrees, so no snow out here. It's pretty quiet. We'll see what's happening down the street. I'll take a little nice walk, get some exercise. I can't believe this, but in the middle of Springfield, Missouri, I found the mosque. This is the American style type of mosque with the dome on the top and the brick style building. It might have been a different type of building back in the day because it looks pretty historical, probably from the 1900s because of the brick facade. But they did make the dome at the top with the moon as well as the type of arch for the decoration on the side, at least above the entrance. Let's check out to see the statue that they have here too. It says, no man stands so tall as when he stoops to help a child. On his hat it says, Abdu Ben Adhem, whatever that means. He's helping a child, he seems to be holding a crutch on the side. So I'm not exactly sure what exactly it means, there's no actual plaque here besides that quote on the back. It looks like a pretty nice building though. I finally found the plaque over here. So let's take a look at what it says. It says the Shrine Mosque. It was built by the Abdu Ben Adhem Temple. The Shrine Mosque was dedicated November 3rd, 1923. So it's been here a while. That's why it looks like the 1920s architecture. Heck and Lively and Mark were architects and Stanley Utswats created the stained glass windows in addition to serving the shrine. The mosque has been the central center of importance. Lower level was renovated in 75. 1922. Wow, so this is a historical monument from the 1920s. It's been here a long time, 100 years currently, almost at least. I'm gonna head down to downtown now, this way, to see what else is interesting to see. Looks like the comedy club is closed. It says, due to circumstances, we're closed until we don't know. They had they put no date because this could last one month, two months, a year, two years. Nobody really knows. Unlike comedy clubs, construction is a great business right now. People are constructing apartment buildings and selling them, renting them, and they're in full swing. Greetings from Springfield, Missouri. This is street art. Since I was last here, they constructed this outdoor seating area for patrons to eat at. Right now the chairs and tables are away, but when they're open, it'll be full. We have the Happy Holidays at the Gilio's Theater. Apparently it's closed right now though. What else is around here? Right next to the theater, they have this Guinness pub. It's one of those Irish pubs called Dublin's Pass. Here's some street art. They made a statue out of those candy little hearts. Across the street, you can find a place for rent if you wanted to open up your business, like a restaurant. It costs just less than $2,000 a month to open up a shop here for rent. Here's the little whiskey bar that has outdoor seating as well. It says no professional cameras are allowed here at the complex. I'm not sure why you'd want to bring a professional camera. I guess phone cameras are okay. No weapons allowed inside. This place is probably happening at night. Right now it's pretty closed and dead. We'll see what else is happening. I'm just coming up on the square. I reached the little square over here. They put up a Christmas tree for happy holidays. It's not Merry Christmas. They wanted to make sure. They say season's greeting is over there in the lights. They decorated all these trees with Christmas lights. Here's the history museum. It's pretty festive, probably nicer at night, of course, but SID, Central Something District, downtown. In the summertime, they have this as a waterfall, and right now, not many people are out, but this is the main square in Springfield, Missouri. Right near the center square is the coffee shop called The Coffee Ethic along with the Central Branch Library. 
making outdoor seating seems to be a popular thing in Springfield. Here they made outdoor patio equipped with chairs. It might be actually temporary, but we don't know. It could be permanent. They took up basically two parking spots for this construction. It became so popular that across the street, the Italian American Cafe did the same thing. And walking down a little further, this restaurant called the Mud House in downtown also made an outdoor seating area. However, when it gets winter, it's gonna be pretty blistery cold out here. You might have to risk it and go inside. Here's another result of the pandemic. This Avery Cafe and Creperie, which was pretty popular, is now for lease. They completely moved out of their shop. Used to be pretty popular, but now no more business. That's the end of my tour here in Springfield, Missouri. It's 32 degrees here, a little chilly, so I'm gonna head back to my place. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll update you on another adventure. Headed back home to Vegas.